I am on my way to Thompson's Park, walking through this rather beautiful part of town. Well, this is the main entrance. First thing you see when you come in is this flower bed here. Not much in it at the moment this time of year. And there's that statue. There's one like that in Rose Conservatory. I saw it the other day. Very similar. Oh, hello ducks. They're all coming over. Look, I think I've got food. They're chatty, those three, aren't they? I'm going up here. Little children were feeding the ducks. I used to come to this park a lot as a kid and there wasn't as much here for us kids as we thought at the time. There wasn't a play area as such. But in a way it was better because it really forced us to be resourceful and we would make our play equipment out of trees and bushes and sticks. You know, we found our own fun and in the end I think we enjoyed it even more. I'm sure there used to be a fish pond here, it's gone. There was a play area briefly, I think down there. I vaguely remember it. I've got a feeling the local residents objected to the noise. Something like that anyway. There's kids scrambling around up the bank there. It's a really uppy downy park this one, as you can probably see already. There's lots of ways you can sort of scramble up into the woody bits and so it's very interesting you know not plain this bit's not buggy friend is it, it looks like it's been strimmed recently <laughs> oh yeah lots of um oh gosh ouch <laughs> i've come a stupid route all right <laughs> i'm gonna get back onto the main path that would have been the more sensible way to get up onto this path <laughs> There's a great big field at the top, a great big open field. What are those? Very pretty, whatever they are. Oh, and the sun's come out up here. We're up quite high, you can see all the houses there. I wonder if we can see the Millennium Stadium. Maybe from the right angle. Oh, I think maybe I might see it. You probably can't make it out, but I can just about see it glinting through those trees there. I've just walked all the way along here. The sun is glaring that way, so it's kind of restricting where I can point the camera, really. There's that top entrance there, anyway. If you get out of there and just walk along not very far, you get to Landa Fields, which is huge. Now you look at these fungi, they are massive aren't they? Do you want to see a bit of a size comparison? <laughs> That's an X tree though. Oh look, more really really tall mature trees. I wonder when this park was made. I'll look it up and put the date by there when it was opened. The weather's warmed up anyway from earlier. <laughs> yeah. This is about the third video I've shot today actually. I don't normally bulk record. I just wanted to make the most of having a free early part of the week this week. I didn't really have much else going on. And there were things I could be doing at home, all the usual routine things. They never end, do they? But now nah, I just thought, look, we can get out at the moment. Restrictions aren't what they were. Let's just get on the train, get down to Cardiff, have a bit of a walk. I like city walks, you see. I like off-road walks as well, as you probably know if you follow my channel a lot. But I don't know, there's something very stimulating in a different way about city walks. Ah, there we are, I can film that now without getting a glare on the lens. Yeah, I'll be getting back to other things again for the rest of the week. There's an uprooted tree over there, I'm going to have a closer look at it. Hey, look at that. It's quite interesting, isn't it? I mean, they obviously would have been a lot longer, those roots. I think this has been left here as a sort of curiosity for people to look at. Something smooth, isn't it? I wonder if it actually was this smooth naturally, or if it's been smoothed down by loads of kids slithering around on it over the years. Yeah, it's been sawn off, hasn't it?
Oh, I've just remembered about my running bank. I had a special game I used to play all by myself because I was one of those kind of kids that played by myself. I've got a feeling I might have roped some friends into it as well though. I wouldn't recommend my running hill as an activity. Probably dangerous. I don't know how I didn't break my neck. Oh yeah, it's still there. So what I used to do, do you see that sort of lumpy bumpy bit by there? I think it was there. By there it was. Right, it's coming back to me now. I used to run down this hill as from here. So I used to run down here as fast as I absolutely could. And then when I came to the bump, I would take off into the air. I would leap and just keep going and going and going for what seemed like forever and then eventually land. So it was kind of like the sensation of free falling. So yeah, that was one of my favorite games to play here as a kid. And I also got very stuck in a tree. I think the tree might be gone now. I think it was about there. And uh, a stranger had to come and get me down. A lady, how embarrassing. All these years later, I'm still embarrassed having to be rescued from the tree. There's some dogs there. They were doing the running hill. They didn't do the takeoff though. They were just sort of scampering about and playing. They're Welsh speaking dogs. Well, they're being called in Welsh. I didn't actually hear them speaking any. Oh, it's just, it's turned into a really, really beautiful day now, wasn't it? I was thinking I really had picked the wrong day earlier when I set out, but it's really cleared up and it's just still and beautiful. The wind has dropped. Oh. <laughs> I reckon I'm going to do another turn of this big field and then I'm going to walk down there that way because it's quite lovely. Oh, the steps. I forgot about those. Big set of steps there. There's the pond that I showed you earlier with the ducks. So yeah, there's another way to get up here. Well, several ways. All right, I'm back on my fancy camera now on a gimbal no less get me i thought it would get it back out when there were no people around so that uh, it's not panic stations but it suddenly points right at a person and i can't control the blinking thing it's got a joystick on it it does and various modes and it's all like when i press it to go up it seems to go the other way right i'm pressing up oh it oh it's doing it now i'm totally confused i think the thing with learning new tech is it it's best not to panic. Oh, no, see, that's contrary to where I was expecting it to go. <laughs> well, it's smooth, whatever it's doing. Oh. See, if I can master this, I was thinking I could do proper walkthrough videos where I don't actually talk, because they're actually more popular <laughs> on YouTube. But I'm not very good at being quiet. There's my shadow there. This is me with an unruly gimbal going that way. <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I need to see lots of practice. I can't shoot in selfie mode on this because if I put the flip screen up to check my lighting and everything and composition, it puts the thing out of balance. And it does a big high pitch whine and then starts thrashing like an eel. And I worry it's going to shake my camera to bits. Right, let's go that way. I want to go the no, 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 other way. Right, let's go this way. Why can't I master? Like, it's. <sighs> I don't know why it's so opposite-y. It's like there's a game in TechniQuest, this science exhibition centre, where you have to drive, but all the controls are on the wrong way, like the steering's are on the wrong way. This gimbal is like that, for me. I remember a kid coming down here on his bike. There's a hill, yeah, there it is, that hill. Came down on his bike, lost control of it. It was a stabiliser bike, you know, with training wheels on. Whack, straight into there, bashed his face on the road, and he's doing a poor thing. It was inconsolable. We were a similar age ourselves at the time. We just sort of watched it happening helplessly, unable to stop him once he'd gained his momentum. I am going to leave the park now. Thank you so much for watching this park video. Normally I do daily vlogs about my daily life, but as I said, I just fancied a change for a bit, wanted a bit of exercise, so I came to Cardiff today. And anyway, if you did enjoy this random video, do give it a like. It really helps the channel to grow. I so appreciate that. And if you're new here and would like to follow more of my daily life here in South Wales, do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!